And that always means more money. That's exactly <laughs> you know, and with the economy and situation. That's, and that's one of the things that we're real strong right now on. We've had over 400 arrests in the last year on drug arrests and uh, seizures. We have, um, we've got a good bit of seizures that we've sold numerous vehicles. I don't have the actual mm -hmm. figures, but mm -hmm. that money right there, we just purchased two vehicles, Chief's vehicle right. and the canine vehicle, and that was purchased with no cost to the taxpayers because it was out of actually drug enforcement seized money. And we want to continue to really, because that's one of our problems right now in any community, we've got to work on the drug activity and uh, and hit them with our pocketbooks and mm -hmm. seizures and forfeiture, forfeitures. And uh, we really need to keep on because that's money for us as a police department where we don't have to buy equipment and stuff. Do you find that Highway 49 is a pipeline? Uh, it's getting more and more of a pipeline. Uh, it's a lot of the drug couriers are trying to hit the off-roads of like your 20 and 10 main interstates because they're getting bombarded by police stops and we do have a lot of drugs coming up and down the highway. Well, I think the fact that you've had training in the narcotics is, is such a good thing. Um, let's see. I know all areas of your job are difficult, but what gives you the most trouble? <laughs> uh, I don't know about this trouble, you know, that's what uh, I would like to see us be there for everyone. I want us to be, you know, we've got to do our job and people should realize that we've got to do our job. And uh, it's tough to see kids, we see kids that just do not have the, uh, for whatever reason, leadership or whatever, and get into trouble. and. Uh, we want to be role models for them. We want to be there for them. Uh, as far as most trouble, uh, I think right now would be the lack of the economy right now. Uh, as far as money to operate, uh, we have a certain budget we have to stay within. And uh, we're going to do that to the best of our ability while providing the services that the city needs. Haven't you almost outgrown the police department as it is now? Uh, we are steadily growing. We are growing, but with the increase of population, we're going to continue to uh, go with what needs and uh, what we need to do. Okay. We'd like to know if y'all have any questions. But while you're thinking, I thought that we might with Randy here and with Diane and, and Dan and even Charlie if she wants to get in with us that we might just discuss some general questions about the city that they don't have to be necessarily questions that deal directly to the police department but what are you what do you think are some things maybe in our city that we need to be looking at directly to the police department but not always Do you have any idea that we might get a website or anything from any police department? Uh, we had talked about this in the past and we have just got up a, a McGee Police Department website. Uh, we, we needed it for public relations and a lot of people was wanting to know certain information. So we have just got McGeePolice.com uh, up running uh, last week. Now we're, it's in a building stage right now but it's still uh, it is up and we're continuing to work on it day by day. We eventually want to have uh, certain things on it like most, most Wanted, McGee's Most Wanted and uh, asking the people for help and uh, a lot of things, a lot of information like on the drug activity, what to be looking for, certain items and uh, certain trends and uh, also let people know about our jail and the hours of operation and what they can bring, what they cannot bring. And um, we ask on the, on the actual website, you know, we have an email address for each individual and any questions or anything that we can do better, we want to uh, be there. Because that's what, we want to be there for the public. You know, we want it to be an open door policy. You know, if you have any problems or any needs or any concerns, we want you to be able to come talk to us. Because we want, we want to be your friend. That's, we want to all work together. We can do so much better. 
I think that's great you've got a website. And I do feel like it gives people, they feel some kind of, that they're not quite as in your face and they'll ask you for an email. But they do have a lot of things they want to know. And you know, one of my favorite stories to tell about is right after we started McGee Knees, you know, we were praying on message for the press. We would be praying for this person, and then we'd pray for the next person. We'd be praying. And so, the, so Richard, I think it was Ricky Davidson, called, and he said, maybe I shouldn't say the name. I guess they're a criminal. Can you say the name? <laughs> well, anyway, I won't. There was this particular criminal that they were looking for, and they couldn't find him. So they wanted me to put it on the website. And, I, and that's when I told Charlie, I said, I can't pray in one paragraph for somebody and look for the most wanted in the next one. So we will have we will have a link to the McGee Police Department's website, and I think that will be huge for that for, for our city. Y'all got any more questions, Dan? Randy, you mentioned uh, the economy a couple of times. Um, inmate health care has increased like 32 percent over the past couple of years. The cost. Um, what are your thoughts of uh, controlling the inmate health care? that the city is responsible for and, and providing adequate, continuing to provide, to provide right. adequate health care for you. And that's, that's something that we're working on policies right now too, uh, and have actually policies and procedures on because like you said, with the economy as it is, and we have to provide health care for our inmates. And uh, that's we're working closely with the board and the mayor right now uh, to better fit our needs and their needs because we have to provide quality health care if they get sick in our jail. We're always, we take them to the McGee Clinic or the after hours clinic and uh, any certain complaints that they have, we go about seeing that they get taken care of. But that's something that we will have to work, continue, especially with rising cost. We will sit down and have a plan on what we need to do. I would think that would be a huge cost. Huge cost. Do y'all have any other questions? May I just say that the polls will be open at 7 o'clock Tuesday morning. They will close at 7 o'clock that night. Everyone within the whole city will vote at the Civic Center. Absentee ballots are being done, and you can vote absentee now at your city hall. But be sure you do come out to vote, and everyone will vote at the Civic Center. Thank you. Well, that's right. If you know, it's just a week from tomorrow to the election is. Thank you so much for coming, Randy. I really do appreciate it, especially well, since we're in the middle of a door night outside. Well, and I do, I do appreciate your well. willingness to be interviewed by me <laughs> and to take the time with the people. And again, if you have questions, you can send them to us and we'll get them to Randy. And thank you so much for being a loyal viewer of mcgeenews.com. And we'll see you tomorrow. And this will be taped so someone else can watch it. <laughs>